What is up guys, I'm Daddy Game Afraid and welcome back to another discussion video. In today's video, we're going to be discussing the biggest game potentially coming to the Nintendo Switch. And no, I'm not talking about Metroid Dead or Pokemon Legends Arceus or Breath of the Wild 2 or in that case, anything Nintendo related. I'm talking about, of course, Grand Theft Auto. Now, this is coming from Kutaku.com, article written by Zach. I'm going to leave the full article in the comment section below. I'm going to be reading a little bit of it in today's video. If you want to check out the full article, please click the link in below. Give them a click. Check out the article. It's definitely a great write-up about this whole situation, and they definitely got the scoop on things. So jumping into it, the GTA Remastered Trilogy appears to be real and coming to Switch. It says, after months of rumors and speculation, Kotaku has learned from the sources that Rockstar Games may be remastering three classic Grand Theft Auto games. Currently, it appears that these games will be released later this fall on a multiple of platforms, including the portable Nintendo Switch. For the past year, rumors have swirled around on Twitter, Reddit, and various message boards that Rockstar is working on remakes or remasters of the classic PS2 era Grand Theft Auto titles. These rumors only grew in popularity as Rockstar parent company Take Two Interactive used DMCA takedowns to remove classic GTA mods from the internet while announcing that the publisher had three remastered games in development. Jumping ahead, according to three sources, Rockstar is actively developing remastered versions of Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. All three of these games are being remastered using Unreal Engine and will be a mix of new and old graphics. One source who claims to have seen a snippet of the games in action said that the visuals remind them of a heavily modded version of a classic GTA title. The UI from the games are being updated too, but will remain the same classic style. No details were shared about gameplay, but Kotaku has been told that these remastered titles are trying to stay true to the PS2 era GTA games as possible. Now jumping a little bit ahead in the article, it says originally it seemed like these re-releases were going to be packaged together and given to players who purchase the upcoming next-gen ports of Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online as a sort of a bonus or thank you gift from Rockstar. Then plans change, and the remastered trilogy was scheduled to be released earlier this year. However, plans have changed yet again, and now the remasters titles are planned to launch around late October or early November for PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, Switch, PC, Stadia, and mobile phones. Now, when I first heard this news i was super excited because i'm like yes we're getting grand theft auto finally on nintendo switch to me an easy buy price range might be a little icky sticky for me but even if they charge full price which i think they are 60 dollars for grand theft auto 3 vice city and san andreas fully remastered with new and classic graphics mixed together with again hopefully with the game running smoothly all across all platforms i'm talking you know 60 frames 1080p on ps4 and up and you know on switch as best as it can look <laughs> it's no brainer to me is it's worth the money we're talking about three epic games and again one of the first times we're going to be able to play a true i say a true because no chinatown wars is not a true grand theft auto game on a nintendo platform but see obviously the iconic Carl and Tony, and I forget the guy that doesn't talk from Grand Theft Auto 3 name, but him as well on a Nintendo platform back rocking on brand new hardware with the PS5, Xbox Series X and X is always good to see. To me, this is a easy, yes, cash grab for Rockstar and Take-Two, but at the same time, well worth it for the consumers to re-pick up these classic games that they grew up and love at least i feel like i'm in that camp grand theft auto 3 vice city even san andreas kind of shaped my childhood literally when these games were rolling out i have fond memories with each of them and i can't wait 
to dive in again and have another excuse to replay through these games. The last time I replayed through them, I think it was on mobile and oh my god, trying to shoot a rocket launcher through a window in Grand Theft Auto 3 with touch controls boy you, you don't don't do it to yourself however i do think this is going to be a banger seller a great value for your buck something that was eventually going to happen i don't think no better time than it is now especially with the new consoles rolling out with xbox and playstation nintendo is holding brakes on their new console i'm pretty sure we're going to get some kind of a new nintendo switch plus or new nintendo switch or you know whatever they want to call it i'm just happy that we are getting the big grand theft auto games on the nintendo switch i kind of wish it was grand theft auto 5 i'm not gonna lie but i do think a port of the story version of the single player portion of grand theft auto 5 is coming to the nintendo switch hopefully in the future i do think they're trying their best to try to bring the online function with it because i do think a lot of people will be upset if Grand Theft Auto 5 popped up on Nintendo Switch and it was just a single player and not the online, a lot of people who see the Grand Theft Auto 5 logo now consider it Grand Theft Auto Online and not even consider online being its own separate mode, its own separate game. So I do think that the marketing for it will confuse a lot of people if they would drop the single player on the Nintendo Switch by itself because I think that's the only thing that may be holding it back and especially proof is in the pudding they're turning off the ps3 xbox 360 online capabilities on grand theft auto 5 i believe they did that this year and i could be wrong on that let me know in the comment section below but again these games came out on ps3 xbox 360 so the fact that it was a question if grand theft auto 5 could run on the nintendo switch there's no question it probably can but i think the online function may be a little bit too big for the nintendo switch to handle or to grasp currently with everything they have in the grand theft auto online mode so i think that's where the sticky situation with grand theft auto 5 making its way on the nintendo switch is at and why we haven't seen that game being ported over yet but me the trilogy is a good substitute in my book let me know what you think about it in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there if you're new around here consider hitting that subscribe button i do videos like this every day talking call of duty fortnite pokemon mario whatever i feel like having discussions on i drop them here on the channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video on to recommend it so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one thank you thank you thank you for making it to the end of this video if you're not a subscriber and you made it this far hit that subscribe button you know you want to join the family ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time i drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one